The British Tech Tree is one of the most unique branch of vehicles in the game. When you look at vehicles like the FV2 and 5B183 and the 4005, there is nothing even remotely close to their playstyle. You move over to the FV4202. It's a medium tank that has hash rounds as almost a primary ammo. Again, it's super incredibly fun. And that also goes for the FV2 and 5B, a rear turreted heavy tank with no armor. Yeah, that one's interesting, but it's still a very unique tank and a line to grind. And the Vickers Light, while it might not be the most unique of the British tanks, it still is unique to its own class, with the most view range, it being a light tank and almost a medium at the exact same area. Now, in today's video, we are going to be breaking into the AT vehicles, the Assault Tanks. Now, what those are is the AT-8, the A27, and the AT15. I would do the AT2, but it's a tier 5. It's a pretty easy tank to drive. It's actually ridiculously strong in armor. But the AT7, AT8, and AT15 are also pretty strong on armor as well. Now, what I do find funny is that these vehicles are called assault tanks. Yes, the tanks that go 20 kilometers per hour are assault vehicles. I don't know about that one, uh, I don't know about that one too much uh, from the British Army there. But either way, I'm not sure how fast they actually went in real life. In game, they're not fast, but they do boast incredibly good guns. We're going to be starting off with the AT-8, and as you can see, it already has very good armor. It's not as good for the AT-15 or the AT-7 on armor, but the AT-8 actually has pretty reliable armor. If you're up against tier 6 opponents like this Stritzwagen 74, this is premium ammo, and it still looks pretty red. With standard, yeah, it's a pretty hard pen, especially judging that you can play tier 5s, and even with premium, it's a hard target to go through. Yeah, not the easiest of pens. And not to mention, its gun is outright amazing. It's got 0.29 dispersion, 2.4 seconds aiming time, and 2,500 damage per minute. That is right, this tier 6 TD has more damage per minute than the highest DPM tier 8 mediums. Not only that, it has 200 damage per shot, and 171 standard pen, 240 on the premium. So it has plenty of penetration for the tier that it's in. It has plenty, even, uh, even extra DPM for the tier that it's in. Great armor but it has a big drawback, mobility. It only goes 20 kilometers per hour. Now, one very nice thing about the British tanks is something that I've always said is that they have very solid power to weight ratios, even though it might only say a power to weight ratio of 11.1. Because this vehicle has only a top speed of 20, that power to weight is actually a 0.5 or whatever it is. It averages 20, I can tell you that. You can see we're going 14, 15, and basically we're up to 20 kilometers per hour and that's just it you don't go past it you don't go below it it's not fast it's not slow well it is slow it's definitely slow but you can see even a pill it's not the worst you know i'm kind of keeping up with tanks like the kv2 but uh yeah you're still going to be the slowest tank getting into the battlefield i just really like the look of these tanks especially just how cool they are unfortunately i while i don't think actually the at7 or the at15 are bad especially not this tank I do think the Tortoise is the worst out of the whole line, and judging that it's a tier 9 really, really sucks. The AT-15 has two, 300 more damage per minute, which is ridiculous, which is stupid when I think about it. It's got, honestly, better armor tier for tier. Its gun is just better in basically every aspect, so why would you drive a Tortoise when you can drive a tier 8 version of it that is a smaller profile, has a better gun, it's just a better tank. Now we are just driving along, doing our stuff. I don't really see many opponents yet. Uh, there's a Stritzwagen 74, KV-2 off to the side. I want to shoot the Stritzwagen, and we got the Churchill over here as well. But I gotta be careful, of course, because I don't want to be shot on the side. Not yet. We've got that uh, Churchill over here. Maybe we can get some shells into the Churchill. Yeet! There he is. What? 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 Da -ba -da -ba -ba. All right, let's try that again. Aiming, aiming, aiming. There you go. Nice penetration into you. And that guy literally backed up. I mean, my tank was so red that he actually gave up on trying to aim for me and was just like, well, that's a... That's a not a my problem right now. I'll deal with that tank later. Now, obviously, 220 damage there. Very nice tap. And with that, we're just going to continue peppering this guy. I mean, we've got basically the same reload as that Churchill, but an extra, you know, 100... Uh, not 100, but we got an extra big chunk of damage. And we've also got very nice pens. So this guy, he's just getting popped after popped after popped by shell after shell. So we're doing pretty solid here. Now, I do need to be worried about tanks coming up on my rear. But this guy, oh no, he penned me once. What will I ever do? We're going to pen him again. Again, there you go. Another nice tap, and with that, well, eh, let's finish off this guy. I'm gonna care about the other tank. You're dead. You are gone. And then we've got the uh, this. I don't even know what the T25 is doing. If I'm gonna be honest, he's just vibing in a Ritz car. So he's gonna die. We're just gonna finish him off. Goodbye. Nice knowing you. 
I mean, you can see how nice the gun is. It just penetrates everything. It's so nice. And uh, there's the MT. And we missed him. Well, that was kind of... That was definitely my fault, though. I will take uh, the blame for that shot. I could have aimed that a lot better. But, uh, oh no, look, it's a KV-2. What will I do? Oh, wait, I've got DPM. Ha, ha, ha. There we go. Nice taps into the KV. Not going to be able to finish him off, but that's why I got teammates. So, we're over 2,000 damage this battle. And judging that our tank only goes 20, that's not too bad when I do think about it. Now, we did get penned once in the cupola. But apart from that, we got quite a bit of bounces. In fact, the Churchill and the Stritzwagen 74, judging that they probably don't see this tank all too much, literally ran away from it. So, I do think out of all the tanks, this is the best tier for tier. I do think the AT-15 is ridiculous with its DPM, but it does die very quickly. I think it's very fun, and you can get some ridiculous ridiculously high damage games out in just a minute but uh i still think this tank in particular is the best just because of how easy it is to do everything now if we don't spot this guy in the next i would say 15 20 seconds i'm just gonna skip to the end because nobody wants to watch me drive an at8 well i get you know what? i take that back some of you probably are very intrigued into watching me drive this tank oh 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 come on go go the speed oh my god this is so bad uh, 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 i'm never gonna get him am i i'm never gonna give you up unless it's the mt25 this is sad sad the guy's just gonna keep on running maybe that gargoyle is gonna get him but honestly if, if i don't have the shot on him here i'm just i'm gonna skip oh 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 yeet yes ha ha you suck. Oh, you think you can get past me? You think you can get past me? Oh, 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 you're getting past me. Oh, wait, you're not. No, oh, my God. We're not talking about that. We're not talking about that shot that was uh, meant to happen. Yeah, see, I just waited. <laughs> that was such a bad shot. This tank is a really bad gun arc. I keep forgetting. So when you have to turn the vehicle, it, uh, it messes up your aim a bit. But that was my fault there. Either way, 2,598 damage. Not bad. Sorry for boring you guys. Probably a bit there on driving and... Uh, my terrible singing and rickrolling you. But uh, either way, we did pretty good. 2,600. We'll take it. And that's only a second class. So now we break on to the AT-7. Now, the AT-7's armor profile is definitely worse tier for tier. If we go up to tier 7 tanks, let's say, like, the Constuta. I don't know how to pronounce that either way. The T-3400. And we get out the AT-7. This tank, while its armor is very similar to the AT's, uh, AT-8s, especially when you load heat, it's very easy to pen. Because you have to remember that most tier 7s have a lot of pen. You know, this is a newer tier 7 medium, and it's got that much premium pen. That's with, even without Kali. With Kali, it's just even so much easier. So that's a big issue. Now, it does have the same gun arc as before, and the same very weird gun layout position right on the side. Too bad it doesn't have a double gun. Imagine that would be so cool. But yeah, the armor, it's good, but it's not good. Against tier 6s, though, you will get a lot of bounces. Even with premium ammo, it's very strong. More strong than the AT-8s. But against tier 8s, oh, yeah, it's not great. What is great is the gun. 2,964 damage per minute. 237 millimeters of standard pen. And 271 on the premium. Your alpha gets bumped up 25 damage. The premium gets uh, not really bumped up, but it's 190 damage per shot. And the HE at 300, oof. That's just really, really deadly. That dispersion is amazing. 0.253, I mean, like, what the heck? Yeah, it's got ridiculous dispersion. And judging that the aiming time's already only 3.2 seconds, yeah, I can get away with running refined gun, so it never misses. Of course, now that I say that, I'll miss every shot. But, yeah, the gun's great on that aspect. It's got really good things going for it. This is obviously the gun from the AT-7 there, which isn't even a bad contender on the tier 7. So, yeah, the gun's great on this tank, though, and I'm obviously running calibrated. You can run gun rammer and bring that DPM about to 3,200, which is very impressive for tier 10 standards, not tier 7. Yeah, again, we're gonna see how it performs here. Now, it does carry that same slow kilometer per hour at 20, which is not great. You're gonna take a while to get up to speed. But if you want to get that 183, you definitely gotta struggle through it. This is not the line for the faint of hearted. But I guess that's kind of true because a lot of people own the 183 in Blitz. In fact, it is the most played tank for the past 90 days with over 20,000 players, which is a ridiculous number when you think about it. Those numbers were really only hit by another tank when the uh, Sheridan Missile was out and uh, <clears throat> the O right now with 18,000 very fair bolts. But either way, we're going to load into a game eventually and uh, we'll see how it does. Aha, here we are into a battle. Now, that lineup is not great, gonna be honest. There's a Smasher and an Annihilator. Now, we do thankfully have an Annihilator on our team. The last time I made a video on a Tier 7, we got a Smasher and an Annihilator 
against us, and uh, I wasn't in a great tank. I think it was the Comet. Yeah, didn't go all too well, thankfully. We are in a pretty solid vehicle, so here we go. The speed shall be immense. Not much speed, but uh, we'll see. I actually really like the design of this tank. I think it looks nicer than the AT-8 just because it's, you know, it's a little bit more well sculpted. In real life, it probably had actually some really solid armor going for it. And obviously, in real life, cupolas don't count as armor. If you shot that in real life, it would just go through. Sure, the commander might be turned into ketchup. I have no premium ammo, I just realized. And I have no adrenaline. I must have bought this tank and sold it at some point because, oh shoot. Thankfully, I'm running calibrated shells. And we are against tier 6 and 7s, which means we don't need to uh, really worry too much about the pen. But, uh, oh, come on. I'm so sad that we don't have even good pen. Now you can see, again, the traverse speed's not actually that bad. Like, sure, light tanks will get to the side of you. That is to be expected. It is a turretless tank destroyer and a very heavily armored one at that. But... Honestly, it's not bad on the armor, and because of that, it's... Oh, that guy lost a big old chunk. But as I was saying, because that's not bad on the Traverse, and it's not bad on the armor, it's not a bad world that you're stuck in here. Let's just keep on driving through. I'm the speed man. Here we go. Let's go for the Dreadnought. Hello, sir. You're going to dread my tank. Haha, -ha, there's a nice shell into you. And with that, again, we've got that ridiculous rate of fire. So there's two shells into you. We do have that Stritzwagen flanking him, but uh, he didn't really do much. So they're going to distract him. But either way, there's a nice shot in. We even got a bounce, if I do say so. Pretty solid. Now there is the Smasher. Let's go for the track wheel. I really want to track him. I unfortunately do not have Adrenaline, which is really, really really sad, but you don't really need it when you do have 2,900 base damage per minute, which is really, really nice. So we're just going to keep aiming on this vehicle. Back up, back up, or pull forwards. Either works. Uh, nah, we weren't even going to hit it anyway. But again, you can see we're getting some pretty nice bounces. I mean, like, the armor's nothing ridiculous on that vehicle. Wow, that on-movement dispersion, though, is nothing great either. Let's aim it on the M6. Fire. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Did not expect that to hit in any world, but the fact that that did is just amazing. Now we do have the SU-152 off to the side, and I've got the Annihilator coming with me, so that damage is probably going to be wasted. I'm also stuck on this guy. Let's see if we can get some shells into, oh, the enemy Annihilator, haha, -ha. let's go for that track wheel again. There you go, nice tracking shot, and with that tracking shot, let's aim in again on his track wheel, and yeet! Oh, we did not pin him that time in the track wheel, but we basically took off the same amount of hit points he hit us for back on the him, which is great. You can think about that there. I mean, that's just how quick the reload is on this vehicle. A 4.6 second reload for 225 damage. Pretty pretty good if I do say so. Now we got that M6 off to the side, and we also got that SU-152. There's a nice... That shell did not go where I wanted it to, but somehow it managed to pen him. Let's go for another tracking shot. I mean, because it's got a, such a high caliber for really the tier that it's in, it's able to really easily track a lot of opponents. There is the uh, Annihilator again, and that guy, he's really not even scaring me at this point. I am just the speed, and you don't mess with the speed when it is the AT-7. Here we go. Come on, keep on going, then it. Net, 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 net. Okay, that was a really bad shot. But uh, here we are. We are in the position for the... Oh, my. My teammate just ran right into me. And he's... Okay, he's going for it. I'll give my teammate credit. I don't know if he's doing the right thing, but uh, he is definitely... What the heck? How did that one bounce? All right, let's try this again. Let's uh, load in standard ammo. There you go. Nice pen there. And uh, yeah, he's gone. So don't need to worry about him anymore. We've got two tanks left. The M6 and the Eggpanzer 4, and this was just an easy game. I mean, definitely our team did a much better job than theirs, but you can still see that this tank actually has some good things going for it. The armor's not as good as the tier, uh, as we went over, the tier 6, but the armor's still quite strong. I mean, strong enough that you're easily getting bounces from tier 6s, and easily getting really high damage out against uh, tier 6s as well. I mean, we're at 2,500 damage again. That's really solid. Sure, we might be slow, and, uh, oh wow, that guy actually pens me. I'm gonna guess he's right about there. That shell, I can't tell if it actually disappeared, but we're gonna take another blind shot. Did it hit? Uh, I can't tell if those are hitting him or not. We're just gonna keep on driving and shooting. No, oh, that one went nowhere near where I aimed. I am the speed. Speed is key. Now, I think he penned me Ah, uh, what? That penned me? Wow, very impressive. I mean, I know that vehicle has decent premium pen, like 220, but very surprised that that managed to actually pen me. Now, that guy, he's probably gone. So, if I see him, I guess I'll cut to it, but uh, for the most part, this is just going to be another one of those driving games. Eight years later, we have finally captured the base. There you go. I don't know what that Panzer was doing, but uh, not much. I'm going to be honest. He just kind of sat there and didn't do anything. So, we won! 
I'll take it. As I said, we did about, what, 2,600 damage? Yeah, not too bad. 25, 41. Got ourselves a second class, and once again, showed that the tank's not actually too bad. Now, yes, there will be tier 8 games where it's just absolute dog. You're up against Chimeras, and bam! They shoot you for 440 right in the front, and you don't even get the chance to pin him back. That's obviously not the most enjoyable of days, but for the most part, you actually get some decent games out. When you've got that much DPM at tier 7, in fact, it's one of the highest DPM tanks in tier 7, plus a good alpha, plus it's got decent armor, you get some okay bounces, you get some okay games. But then we move on to the truly ridiculous AT-15. Now the AT-15's armor is similar to the AT-7, it's nothing great, but it's pretty good. You know, if we get up a, a tier 8 vehicle like, let's say the Progetto 46, Frontal armor with standard is good. It's 195 there. It has no lower plate. So you can see here, it's just 228 thick. Edges are 223, 228. Very strong. It does have a roof, which is very weak. But if you're using the... I don't know why it says it has zero degrees. There you go. If you're using the 10 degrees of gun depression it has and angling it the correct way, you can actually get that side armor very strong, as you can see. And you can hide this big old thing very easily. It says this is a pen. Don't worry about it too much. That's usually not ever a worry about in the tank. Now, when you load premium, that is where issues occur. Yeah, premium in basically any tier 8 is cutting through the AT-15A. That, not, not the AT-15A, but just the AT-15. So what is the saving grace of this vehicle, you may ask? The other two have been the guns. Well, this one, oh, this gun is ridiculous. Four thousand damage per minute you heard that right this has the second highest damage per minute in the game the highest is the su-122 and while that vehicle is very impressive it's a tier 9 this is a tier 8 with almost the same dpm as the highest dpm tier 9 in the game it has more dpm than the highest dpm tier 10s it has great standard pen at 226 258 on the premium 0.244 dispersion that is right we went from 0.26 to 0.25 to 0.24 this tank has the same accuracy as a leopard one its aiming time is only 2.6 seconds 225 damage per shot with only a 3.43 second reload yeah also 10 degrees of gun depression also just that's it that's really all that goes for the vehicle but when you are in a terrible situation, let's say the enemy KV-4 decides, ah, I've got more hit points than this guy. I've got more armor. I can push him. Well, basically, my first shell is dealing 225. 3.4 seconds later, I'm dealing 500. Uh, well, not 500, but 450. That means in about, I would say, what, three shells, which would be four technically, because you always have the first one loaded, you've dealt um, over 1,000 damage. So in about 10 seconds, you've dealt 1,000 damage. So you can kill a full health tier 8 heavy tank, and of course, adrenaline exists, I would say in about 16, 17 seconds. 17 seconds. That is the same reload as an RHM BWT. I can kill an entirety of a full health KV-4, or even a Progetto, maybe even 12 seconds. I mean, it's so stupid how quick the DPM is on this tank. And because of that, as much as some people that I know really dislike this vehicle, for me, it is so fun to play. It doesn't matter if I die, because that Tiger 2, even if he ends up killing me, is going to be so crippled by the time I'm done with him that he's not even going to know what walking is. So here we go. We're just driving our way on up. And let's just keep on swimming, keep on swimming. There's one shell into the tiger. And now we're just going to keep on swimming, keep on swimming. There's two shells into the tiger. Let's go for a third shell. I mean, we didn't get the third one out, but there's the tank I was telling you about, the KV-4. So there's 200 uh, damage into him. There's 450. There's about 700 damage into him. And, uh, well, let's just keep going. There's uh, ooh, actually a bounce. Very surprising. But I mean... <laughs> We've already taken 700 off him, and that was it. That was all the time it took to take 700 hit points off that guy. I mean, that's ridiculous when you think about it. We're still going here. There's a shot into the KV-4. Bounces me because, you know, he doesn't seem to be the best of players. Although our team is not doing all as amazing on the other side of the map. There goes the T-44 missing me. I mean, you can see just how ridiculous the accuracy is on this tank. It, it really just doesn't miss. It's kind of stupid. So what do we have? Well, we got the Conway off to the side. We got the T-44. Nice shot from the RHM, but to be fair, he wasn't really detected, so don't uh, expect more from him, right? Well, there's the 44. Let's go for a tracking shot. There you go. Nice tracking shot. He might be able to repair it, but, uh, well, we're going to hit him again. I mean, it's so stupid. We're already at 2,400 damage. You don't realize that, but that's just how quick it gets out the damage. 
So now we've got tanks like the RHM BWT off to this side. What will I ever do? Well, maybe we can actually slide a shell or not. Let's try that again. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. Push, push, push. Ah, we're fine. Suck it. Suck it, my dude. Yes, your engine's dead. And uh, guess what? You're not getting in the cover, my dude. Yeah, you're gone. Then we've got the Conway off to the side, which I might even be able to HE into the rear. Well, not yet. Let's try another HE. I really want to get one HE pen. Yeah, 320 damage. That's what I'm talking about. We're now over 3,000 damage. And again, it's just been a walk in the park. I mean, it is so stupid how incredibly quick this thing racks up the damage. There's one shell, and we would have easily killed that guy. And we even got a bounce. I mean, it's so stupid. So that was... um. Let's see how much damage that was. That was... 3,492 damage. It was the easiest game I've ever played. I drove, didn't stop driving, and killed a bunch of tanks. And that's all there is to the AT-15. It's why it's becoming one of my favorite Tier 8 tank destroyers. And it's so stupid. Leopard 1 accuracy... 4,000 DPM. Sure, it might be slow, but when that thing actually starts shooting at you, I mean, that KV-4 lost, what, 750 hit points in a matter of 7, 6 seconds? It's stupid. Hopefully, all of you enjoyed today's video. As always, if you'd like to see more like it, please consider smashing that subscribe button down below. But other than that, stay happy, stay healthy, and I'll be seeing you in the next one. Bye-bye.